Where do I get my protein? Beans, bitch. And, and everything else I eat, everything I eat has protein. This highly unwarranted concern over protein requirement stems from misinformation spread by the poultry, meat, dairy, egg, and supplement industries pushing their agenda on the public while disregarding the harmful evidence it does to humans because they've got millions to make. By the way, I'm just talking about the United States here, so take that for what it's worth. But I'm pretty sure these same industries in other countries are doing the same exact thing, so whatever. Now I'm gonna say some crazy shit here, so don't freak out, but it's the truth. You're an herbivore. All around me are familiar faces. Born of Relax. It's not a bad deal, really. It just means you can eat foods like this and thrive rather than eat foods like this and then get fat, sick, and die. Oh, and uh, you'll probably feel better when you realize you're not contributing to this atrocity anymore. So there's also that but I'm not here to make you realize you have a conscience. So let's get into brass tacks about protein with addressing it in a question and answer format, shall we? Question what? How much protein do we need on a daily basis? Question two, what is the difference between animal protein and plant protein? Question three, which is better, animal protein or plant protein? And question four, do we need animal protein to build Muscle. So starting with question one, how much protein do we need on a daily basis? According to the World Health Organization, the average human adult needs about 0.66 to 0.83 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily, which equates to about 0.3 to 0.38 grams of protein per pound of body weight for the average adult. According to the American College of Sports Medicine, if you're a serious strength athlete, then your protein requirements will be roughly around 1.2 grams to 2.0 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, which equates to about 0.2 5.4 to 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight on a daily basis. Just a quick side note, the reason why there is such a big gap for strength athletes in regards to the amount of protein they're supposed to be consuming on a daily basis is directly dependent on the amount of calories said strength athlete is consuming on a daily basis. If you're a strength athlete who is currently eating into a caloric surplus, then your protein requirements will be much less compared to a strength athlete who is currently eating into to a caloric deficit. A strength athlete who is in a caloric deficit will need to consume much more protein than the strength athlete that is eating at a surplus or at maintenance. A strength athlete's body will break down amino acids and potentially muscle as energy when in a caloric deficit. So to offset this potential loss of muscle, one must consume higher amounts of protein to lessen the loss of lean mass when in a state of caloric deficiency. Strength athletes who are eating into a caloric surplus or at least are eating at maintenance don't really have to worry about this issue so much as their body will have plenty of glucose or carbohydrates and fats to break down for energy rather than oxidizing amino acids for energy. Moving on to question two, what is the difference between plant protein and animal protein? Contrary to common belief of the everyday gym bro, all plants contain all essential amino acids to grow muscle or even live. The main difference between plant proteins and animal proteins is the makeup of the amino acid profile for each type of food. Animal flesh, such as beef, chicken, fish, and animal secretions like egg whites or milk have exceptionally high levels of a sulfur containing amino acid known as methionine, which is known to feed or promote tumor growth. 
Consuming 50 grams of any animal-based protein will have you consuming more than three to four times the amount of methionine compared to that of a protein-rich plant like lentils. See the graph? I made that. You're welcome. As a side note, plants are typically less protein dense than animal flesh or animal secretions when matched calorie for calorie. Now, of course, there are a slew of other toxins and inflammatory substances found in animal products that promote or cause disease and cancer, but that's not what this video is about because we talk about protein, son. Moving on to question three, which protein is better? plant protein or animal protein? This kind of is a loaded question because how do we actually know which one is better than the other? Oh, I know. We'll just use this thing called the PDCAAS, which stands for the Protein Digestibility Corrected Amino Acid Score. Now I'm gonna get super sciencey here but so sciencey that I'm just gonna read the definition or my interpretation of what this is directly from my laptop. Here we go. The PDCAAS measures the quality of protein of food on a chemical score, which is the essential amino acid content in a test protein divided by the amino acid content in a reference protein food, then multiplied by its fecal digestibility. Right. Don't worry, I'm confused too. But what it seems what the PDCAAS pretty much accounts for is amino acids in a specific food and then it's thrown into an equation and multiplied by fecal digestibility. I'm still confused too. Even though this is endorsed by the World Health Organization, uh, this doesn't really seem applicable to people today. If you, if you just look at the list and if you do a little bit of research, I don't wanna bore you on this. So regardless, he, here's a list of foods that scored highly on this score chart. As you can see, eggs, milk, meat, fish, wheat, gluten, farina, soy protein isolate, peanut butter, and peanuts all scored highly on the list. So which is better? If you had to ask me, I would say neither because a person's diet varies and typically people eat a variety of food and to say that one group of animal foods is better than another group of plant foods is simply a false statement because if you were to add up the scores of all these foods combined, then you would have a number that is much higher than the score of just one food item. So really this PDCAAS system is only really relevant if someone were to choose to only eat one food item and nothing else. So which proteins are better, animal proteins or plant proteins? I honestly really can't say because I really think that there's too many facets to consider which protein is better. If you're looking for health, then plant proteins are definitely better. If you're looking for sheer amount of protein volume per gram of food and don't care about health, and then I would say that animal flesh and animal secretions are definitely better. So which one's better? I'll let you decide. Moving on to question number four, do we need animal protein to build muscle? This one's easy. No. The human body needs calories, macronutrients, and micronutrients. Pretty much everything the human body needs to just live, it needs to build muscle. All these necessities can be obtained in abundance from a whole foods plant-based diet with minuscule effort. Carbohydrates help to fuel the body to do pretty much everything along with some fat. Essential fatty acids are used by the human body to do a multitude of things. And one of those things is to contribute to the synthesis of hormones, which could help with building muscle. And all these 
necessary nutrients are found in the plant kingdom in abundance without any of the harmful substances that are found in animal products that are mainly contributing to the main causes of death and illness in the modern western world. So in short, dead animal flesh or animal secretions are not necessary to build muscle or strength. So I think that covers everything, but did I miss anything? Let me know if I did in the comment sections down below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. All links and references will be in the description box of the video, so make sure to check them out at your leisure if you so desire. If you could please do your boy a solid, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the ding dong button. You know, I appreciate every single one of you. I'm the Natural Hulk, sir. I want to thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.